Whether crypto advanced or unspeakably new, Bitcoin.com has a wallet for you. Why is it different? different? Is it different because Rivera hurts somebody and you don't want his family to know that at work he's this person with an anger problem that lashes out and hurts people? Free staters and friends, being annoying outside Eli Rivera's house. This video is probably from around 2010. Rivera was with the Keene Police Department at this point, I believe, and he's currently sheriff in Cheshire County, New Hampshire. Who was at my house? All the, all, who was at my house? All the, you want to make it personal now? I don't remember exactly what the grievance was on this one. But I think it was the arrest of Kurt Hoffman and his treatment. If it wasn't Hoffman, it was some other liberty activist who'd been arrested in the Keene area. Anyway, over the years, I've had sort of a, a, a struggle with this concept of demonstrating at bureaucrats' houses. I was initially sort of against it, but hadn't given it much thought. I remembered back in the days when I lived in Dallas, and John Wiley Price and his people were always picketing outside Mayor uh, Miller's house, they were both government people, probably both still are, assuming they're both still alive. And, yeah, you know, the way his people behaved, it didn't really, you know, and Laura Miller always had kind of good demeanor. It was hard to be in favor of the protesters at the House. Then around 2005 or six, a California free stater who hadn't moved to New Hampshire yet managed to get a whole bunch of uh, uh, media attention when he threatened to set up some sort of that would to seize Judge David Souter's house. Now, Souter was a U.S. Supreme Court justice who lived in New Hampshire, or at least his, his home was in New Hampshire, his parents' home maybe, which I guess he had inherited. Anyway, when Souter voted to let... Uh, to make it easier for, for governments and basically companies to seize your house, uh, this guy, you know, tried to get something going where where David Souter's house would be seized. So this was fun. And so uh, since Souter was coming for people's houses, essentially, I, I went and protested outside Souter's house. Well, to, to paraphrase Homer Simpson, you know, although our, although our event triggered a record number of law enforcement, <laughs> a few stayed to bowl. <laughs> so it was basically not very many demonstrators, got a chance to meet some U.S. Marshals, very little media coverage, and it just didn't really, it didn't feel like it had been worth doing. That sort of turned me a little bit more against the concept. Something is happening now to sort of swing me back in the other direction, the pro- outside house demonstration. Again, I'm not in favor of uh, going on to anyone's property, not even to ring a doorbell, you know, if you're potentially unwelcome. But I guess what's changed my thinking lately as I've been writing for Crypto Insider and I keep doing stories about different Bitcoiners who've been arrested. And, you know, you just look at these federal courts and you're like, how on earth would I ever, you know, demonstrate where this judge would even see me, let alone have any kind of chance of interacting with him with a camera or anything like that. These people are so deeply embedded in their fortified buildings, it's so difficult to contact and, and all that. You're not allowed to record the, you know, the, the, the phone conversations with them in many states, if you manage to get one on the phone. All the, all, Who was at my house? All the, you want to make it personal now? Don't make it personal. Keep it to the police department here. and my job. Don't people, take it to my house. Obviously, the government does get mad when you demonstrate at such a place. So if, if it makes them mad, it can only be so bad, right? There's some, some things you shouldn't do to the government, but I'm just not sure this is one of them. Why does the world look like this? Well, it's because you're using these instead of these. Admittedly, so am I sometimes. But if you're not using Bitcoin yet, you're missing the boom of the century. So go to Bitcoin.com, get their free wallet, find out what it's like to be in a free market. Whether crypto advanced or unspeakably new, Bitcoin.com has a wallet for you.